Hello! This video is part of a series where I read over old issues of my comic Hellgate and give some commentary. Hellgate started in 2003 when I was 15 and ran till 2009. You can read it for free at JaegerComics.com. This footage was captured from my streams over at twitch.tv slash Jaeger underscore comics. Hellgate! Battle 15, I Can't Kill You. Last time on Hellgate, Battle 14, Control on the God Slash, Neil faced with a demon that just won't stay down. In order to defeat it, he transformed to his demonic form and is able to finally control it. In doing so, he learned a new attack, the God Slash. Oof, we'll talk about that punctuation when we get back to our commentary. But yeah, if you remember last time, uh, there was this demon that anytime Neil cut him, uh, he would split and Neil realized that he had to slay them all at one time, and there was a ton of them. And so he turned into his demonic form and learned the God Slash technique and was able to wipe them all out in one go with that technique that you can see him performing there. So first we check in on Courtney here. Still in her healing coma. And then we cut right to the shenanigans with Neil being like, The ramen came with a flavor packet! They always do! You don't understand. When I was a boy, my father was addicted to ramen flavor packets. Whenever he had, whenever we had ramen, father would take all the flavor packs, so I would always have to eat bland ramen. Weird. At least your mom isn't an alcoholic. My mom's a dentist. What about your mom, Jesse? She was killed by a demon. I'm going to go for a walk on the beach. I... It's okay. You didn't know. He just needs some time alone. So then we cut to the beach. Jesse wearing a... You know, it's not the commentary. We're not going to go over Jesse's weird choice and fishnet shirts. I guess I better head back. Huh? Oh, who's this now? Hey, I know you. You're Mike Olive, Neil's friend from Eureka. Oh, kick in the chin. Oh, nose. Looks like it. Oh, God, that looks painful. What the hell, man? You're going to pay. Oh, gut punch. Bring me Jaeger. Meanwhile, back at the house. What the hell? Neil. Jesse, who did this? Mike Olive. Mike. Flashback. So you're leaving now? For your little road trip? Yeah. You're the only one that can slay demons. I think we're doomed. <laughs> yeah. And you could die. Is that what's bothering you? Alright then. A promise. I won't let these demons beat me. I won't die. Neil. A promise. Neither of us will die till every last demon is gone. Yeah! Somewhere over the Arctic Circle. Got a birdie cast. Yeah, so essentially, I'm going to try to... Um, I'm going to try to um, do a uh, translation here. Uh, essentially, he's saying, first of all, this is big, Jaeger, la, Neil. This is him basically deciding he's not going to refer to him as Jaeger. He's going to refer to him as Neil. I'll get into that. Um, he's essentially thinking like, he's basically going over his plan here. It's never been to just to kill Neil because he could. He's, Neil's not that strong compared to the previous Slayer. The main issue is um, he, wants, he wants revenge for something. And his goal is, 
as we can see here on the left, is to make Neil explode with rage, to really bring up the Monic Force so much that it just destroys him. But he's afraid he's going to carry that out for too long, and Neil might get too strong, so he's trying to think, all right, what 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 would be a good timer? What what would be a good like indicator that I I need to move on? Maybe maybe if there was a strong demon that if Neil was able to defeat, then it would be time to cut this game and just take Neil out. He's trying to think, who could I get? Who what demon would be that he gets an idea? Oh crap, I need to hurry. And he tells his castle, let's get out of here. It's essentially what the conversation is here, just in the demon language. Meanwhile, Back at this confrontation. What the hell? Why the hell did you beat up Jesse? Coming right at him. Coming for a punch. Neil dodges. All right, you asked for it. And then, boom! Clocked him in the back. But what's this on his neck? What the hell? What the hell's going on? I'm controlling your friend, Jaeger. Neil transforms. Are you going to kill your friend? No, I'm going to exercise you. What, what are you doing? When I learn to control my demonic energy, I learn to control my holy energy, too. I'm going to use my holy energy to force you off, my friend. Ah! Oh, value joy. I think it's like I'm falling off. Slash. Boom. The Demon King. Neil, my God. Ugh. Thunder clouds roll in. Sorry, Neil. I have plans for this one. Demon King? That's the Demon King? You didn't know? Me and Jesse have never met the Demon King before. Your friend is going to be the first human to become a demon. My lightweight goes to wife goes. I won't let you. Try and stop me. La la la. Which is no, no, no in demon. La 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 la. So whatever that he's doing, the demon doesn't like this. Black flames start wrapping around Mike. Ah! Stop right there, Neil. Sends out this worm demon. That's a cool move. Just jump back, slash. Mike completely engulfed in the black flames and... Oh my god. Boom. What did you do to him? Instant transformation. Transformation. Die. Oh, this new demon gets in the way. Uh, will you kill me, Mike? Wrong. I am not Mike Olive anymore. I am the Demon Prince. Take care, Neil. Disappears off into the sky. The rain comes in. Damn. Damn. Demon King. Damn you! Damn you! Then we have our fan art contest. Mentioned a few issues earlier. We have the um, uh, the winners there. We got in fifth place, Robert the Turd Turton with this cat. I'll go on that in the commentary. Fourth place... Henry D something. Couldn't spell it. Uh, we have this drawing of Demonic Neil. So it looks better on there than it does here. Ray, however you spell his last name. Well, I put a lot of work into this. Uh, with Neil. And then Neil under a tree in the background. Second place, we have this drawing of uh, Neil and Courtney by Kayla Howard. And then first place from Lucas Edwards is this drawing of the Demon King. At least his own take on him. I'll go into that too in the commentary. <laughs> and then just this uh, Christmas drawing in the back. Because this is around Christmas time when this issue came out. 
2005, by the way, let me mention at the, at the top, this is a 2005 issue. Santa Jesse Neil's an elf. Help helper Santa girls, Courtney and Jessica, then reindeer demonic. Next time on Hellgate. Battle 16, love me like you love her. Neil is once again in one of D4.0's traps, but this time D4.0 may have gone way too far. How can Neil kill someone that loves him so much? The commentary here, of course. So this cover, I was actually trying to do something different here. So demonic energy is black, right? But I drew it blue here, and that actually kind of comes to bite me later because blue does have a special designation later, but we'll just ignore that. So this blue outline and this blue aura was actually me trying to mimic the look of Naraku in Inuyasha. I noticed that a lot of times his he almost has this blue glow to him and i just kind of trying to mimic that but again there was way more to it than just the color blue right it was also just you know using a program other than microsoft paint i think was my biggest downfall but this is my first time to try to create a glow effect but there's only so much you can do in microsoft paint in 2005 so this my god my god neil faces a demon that just won't stay down because i forgot how to spell slain a lot of this is me avoiding words i don't know how to spell and then look at this, look at this. Uh, in doing so, period, he learned a new attack. Why would there be, why would the sentence in there? I'm so glad I have editors now. Once again, we, we check in with Courtney, who's in her healing coma. As you can see, her hair is growing out more because she's not a natural black hair. She's actually a natural brunette. So I was actually showing that, that her brown hair roots are, are showing through the longer she, she stays hidden here. Then we have this this funny little moment where Neil talks about how his dad used to eat flavor packets. That actually is roughly me attempting to draw my dad there. I remember my dad actually saw me drawing this and he actually didn't like it because he was like, I don't do that. I'm like, well, that's not you. It's, it's a character that looks like you. <laughs> I've never done that, boy. What are you talking about? His expression right here is actually ripped right out of Veroni Kenshin. This exchange here is a little awkward where we bring up Jesse's mom died from a demon back in like issue six. Uh, can we just talk about Jesse? Why did I put him in fish, like a, like a, a, a mesh t-shirt? Such a weird shirt. But yeah, I have no idea. I think I just wanted to put Jesse in something interesting. God, it looks weird. But yeah, we have Mike here. So Mike actually did briefly appear in issue six uh, in a scene where his car gets destroyed at the very beginning of the issue, but he's not really named. Um, he is based off a friend of mine that I'd had since like kindergarten. Uh, who wanted to be in the series uh and yeah uh, i did some interesting things with my like his his sketchy eyebrows was me trying something different um and uh we'll get to his demon king this or demon prince design and you can tell he's got this little demon latch to his neck he beats the crap out of jesse that that that's not a fighting pose that's just weird i am glad i'm better at drawing now and then we have this weird scene where the cats are just torching one of the other cats um i used the cats less and less as it went on I try to keep them there, you know, it's like, we got these cute animals. I might as well make sure that they're present in, in, uh, in the issues that they, they're going to be around in, but we have another, we have another case right here where I obviously had the frames in the wrong order. When I originally drew it, you can tell by how weirdly these do not fit. Uh, and that is because I, once again, you know, I, I would draw these as I go. I didn't have as, I didn't have as detailed notes. Um, in fact, I don't think I did any scripting at all back, back, during this issue i just picked up a paper and just started drawing and so sometimes my mind would just forget to put frames in the right order it may seem strange but basically on the right side i was planning for this to be a tall frame so it'd be one two on the left and then a tall frame on the right but then i would decide after the fact to cut the tall frame into two frames and then i would forget to re, re uh, account for that and the fact that we now had four frames that needed to be ordered differently so i'd have to move them around in microsoft paint afterwards and they don't really fit right um that happens a few times in these early issues but this scene what we use uh so this is flashing back to just before neil left on the demon slaying trips so this takes place just roughly after issue four before issue five and uh, so that's why we can see Neil with slightly shorter hair uh, and no glasses yet. But we see that Neil made a promise to Mike just before he left that they would both survive to see the end of this, which is a, a promise that Neil's going to have to deal with. Of course, I've talked about this, the demon language here. Uh, oh, Birdie Cast. I, I mentioned this in the previous issue. I kept track of the fact that uh, this castle, when it zoomed off last, uh, um, when the castle zoomed off last uh, 
issue, um, it hit a bird. So now that bird's back, but has a cast on. Just a weird little thing I included. And yeah, I just have the Demon King just thinking to himself in the demon language, and I went over what he was saying, basically. I like Jessica's I'm with stupid shirt, but it's pointing up to her face. <laughs> and Neil's cute bunny shirt. You can see Neil has some cuts on him still from the last issue, because I keep track of scars and stuff like that. I was like, all right, Mike, you're here. What the fuck? And then they fight. I do like this here. I like I like that effect of the, the fist coming down. I think that's kind of cool. That still looks kind of neat. It's the first, like, fist fight I've shown in the series. Might be one of the only... Well, there's, there's some fists later. But I think this is actually the first issue where I started shading in Neil's hair when he's in normal mode, now that I think about it. I think I just did that on a whim. I liked how it looked, and I did it for the rest of the series. Yeah, Neil's basically just going to force his holy energy into Mike to pop that demon off of there. And then, boom, the Demon King just shows up. This is the first time we see the Demon King in action. The first time we see his sword, uh, which will be a reoccurring sword. The first time a lot of the characters seeing the Demon King. And then, yeah, this, this shadowy, yeah, this looks really bad. This shading looks so bad, and it was such a pain. In fact, I even say right here, this shading is killing me. Um... Yeah, I was just trying to show that it was darker out because the storm was rolling in. It had a nice atmosphere, but I don't know. It's just probably didn't need to go that dark, and it's much easier to do that digitally these days, and it looks better too. Here we see Neil like getting mad and almost mid-transformation to his demonic form. Like his eyes are darker, his tooth starting to point out. I really like this 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 movement here where, where Neil's kind of having to duck back a bit while still slashing. I still think that looks pretty good. This this looks like hot garbage down here. This whole area down here. <laughs> but yeah, then we have the premiere of the Demon Prince. So we'll talk about this. One, it's designed all over the goddamn place. All over the goddamn place. Like, I just threw stuff on there. There's no design philosophy, and I think it's his biggest weakness. So I was just like, uh, let's put a dot here and some triangles over there. And a band here and we'll pull a little lightning bolt on this cheek we'll put some teardrops on this cheek and we'll put like three horns coming off this cheek and he's got the one horn thing is cool though i am cool with the one horn um i do like that look and that's actually borrowed from the third inuyasha movie in terms of design there's a, a villain in that movie that has like a one horn and there's actually one one band on that i'll say that now and uh uh you can uh just, just keep that in mind. It's got this one black eye, which is actually more based off. That's actually inspired by Stargate Atlantis, which I was very, I was first getting into around that time, I believe. Um, one of the characters gets like infected by the wraith, and like one of his eyes just turns pitch black. And that was kind of the inspiration for that. Um, however, his armor here, kind of important. This here is this face in the middle is Fred. So the actual Mike that I went to school with in middle school. Uh, just randomly in art class, he made this piece of cardboard and put these little chunks of paper on it to make this face called Fred. And it was like his imaginary friend in middle school. And it was just something we all played along with. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, one time I kidnapped Fred and his mom came to my house to get it back and threatened to call the police. That was fun. It was weird. It was weird. Middle school was weird. <laughs> um, anyway, I wasn't going to hurt him. Come on now. Not a, I'm not a monster. I just thought it was funny to take him. I don't even know how they knew I had it. Anyway, uh, and then, of course, the markings on his neck. There's, like, markings left behind from where the demon was. I kind of like that. But, yeah, I was just trying to be very unique with the design. Unfortunately, I forgot the first rule, which was I should probably have a design philosophy. Instead, I just kind of put whatever on a guy. So, but we'll be seeing quite a bit of the demon prince for the rest of the series. Or at least he'll be a presence. Uh, I'm at a Christmas party. That's true. I remember drawing this at a Christmas party for my stepmom's boss. Yeah, I remember sitting with other kids my age. This was high school for me, right? I was probably like a junior. Wait, Christmas of 05. When did this come out, though? It was either a junior or a senior. Because if I made this in Christmas of 05, then that was my senior year. But if I made this in Christmas of 04 and it came out in 05, then I was a junior. So somewhere in there. But I just remember sitting at a Christmas party. I believe the girl there was doing tarot readings. We were watching Van Wilder's Christmas or something. 
just an extra room. And then the, the Demon King and Demon Prince peace out. Why did the fight not continue? I actually have a reason for that for once. And uh, that will be more revealed later. Like I said, the Demon King was looking for... Demon King's looking to make Neil explode with rage. And there will be a reason given for that later. So he's not... He's kind of toying with Neil. And yeah, then the rain comes. It's supposed to be like a rainbow. Art by hand is hard. And then we got these, um, so yeah, these were the fan art submissions. These were all of them, actually. I got five submissions, which is pretty great for high school. I mean, I, I could probably get more now, but. Uh, yeah, so let's go over these. Robert Turton's cat. Obviously, uh, some of these were kind of cheeky. I think Robert just kind of drew a cat and then tried to pass off as one of the cats in the comic. But whatever. I didn't have many entries, so I allowed it. Uh, Henry here, actually, uh, interesting enough, I actually dated his sister in high school. Um, he's trying to draw demonic Neil. Gave Neil this, like, shoulder harness, which Neil doesn't have, but I don't know. I, I, I'm all, I'm fine with creativity. So this was definitely in good faith he was trying to draw demonic Neil. So that was cool. Um, Ray here is actually, if you read Gotta Make Fast Happen, this is C's older brother. I was actually friends with her older brother in high school. And uh, this is actually a drawing of Neil, taken from a couple issues prior. And it was pre that was pretty cool. Kayla here, I actually did not go to school with her. I, I did meet her after high school, though. Uh, she lives out in California. Um, I met her back on Guy Online. And yeah, it looks like she made this in Microsoft Paint. And um, yeah, I, I loved this. This was really cool. Honestly, it probably should have been first, but we'll see later. Um, it all worked out. And this is Lucas, uh, first place. This is another case of I don't think he was actually... I think he just drew his own thing and then tried to pass it off as the Demon King. But what can I say? The dude had amazing eye for detail. Uh, tedious detail that I probably can't even mimic now. Um, I've talked about this guy before where, like, um, you know, we were both artists, but he was more quiet and laid back about... Or like, he was, he was more shy about it and didn't really you know, trumpet around that he was an artist. Meanwhile, I'm drawing constantly and everyone knows I'm an artist. So like we'd be in the same class and teacher would be like, we need an artist to do something on the board real quick. And like, I'd be picked because everyone knew I could draw. And then Lucas would be mad at me because he was never picked. I was like, dude, you never bring up the fact that you're an artist. Like, you know, no one knows. And I thought Lucas was better than me back then for sure. Like I, this, this detail is amazing, uh, especially compared to what I could do back then. So, but if you remember the contest winners for this, the first, second place would get a role in so if you remember, yeah, the, the prize for winning this fan art contest was you'd appear in an issue, and we will see that in a few issues. Um, it was actually supposed to be um, like a, a starring role and a cameo, but it ends up being like two starring roles. That's why I'm not so worried about Kayla getting second, even though I honestly think she should have gotten first. Um, I mean, it was my choice. I don't know why I'm acting like she was cheated. Uh, I would just make a different decision now. The important part is they both got starring roles in that issue. So um, look forward to that. And this Christmas drawing, which is something I kind of just did on my own for fun, and then I just decided to put an issue. But then, yeah, next time is 16, which has been, it's one of my favorite issues, 16. So I'm looking forward to doing that one. That was Battle 15, I Can't Kill You. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure you hit the like button, and I'd love to read your comments below. And make sure you're subscribed so you know when the next comic goes up. Also, check the description for a playlist of any readings you may have already missed. And if you'd like to read ahead, all of these comics are free on my website, jaegercomics.com. Bye!